Let's look at 4.3. 4.3, Itumeleng has the following expenses for the birdhouse business. Um, rental of the stall at the flea market, 250 per week. So we've got all the information. And then it says that we've got an extra D to work with. Okay, so because we've got an extra D to work with, we need to just quickly go and take a look at an extra D. So that is an extra D. You see? Income, expense, number of birdhouses, amount in rands so i've got my um title over there i've got my y-axis i've got my x-axis i've got income i've got expenditure so we now can see the question says to us the equation um to calculate his weekly expenses can be written as follows expenses is 350 plus P, X, number of birdhouses made, where P is the variable cost for each birdhouse made. Um, show how the value of 350 um, in his fixed weekly expense was calculated. How was the value of 350 calculated? So if we look at the fixed, firstly, fixed means um, that whether I sold at the flea market or not, I, I'm still going to spend that amount of money. So rent is a fixed one, okay? And transport is also a fixed one because it's 100 rand per week. The wooden boards and all of that other stuff is not a fixed expense because you don't really know how many they are going to make. So we need to add 250 and 100. So that's 250 plus 100 so that is how the 350 fixed weekly cost um, was calculated calculate the value of p the variable cost of making one bird house so we need to use the formula um, that we have already been given so the formula that we have been given is here the cost of one bird house so to make one bird house is three so is 350 plus p times the number of bird houses i'm gonna just say bh bird houses okay so 350, which is obviously what we need to um, use as a fixed um, expense in that particular regard. And then we've got P. I'm just going to tell you something now, and that's one. We need to be careful um, because when this person makes the bird house, they don't need the traveling expenses. Okay, when they make the birdhouse, they don't need the traveling expenses. And it's very interesting because I, I, I can easily, easily, easily um, look at this formula for that. And clearly in this particular regard, that is not the formula I'm going to be using. Okay, I'm going to use this amount. I'm going to use this amount. Um, and I'm going to use this amount. So I know that I need to divide this amount first by 6. This amount needs to first be divided by 6. And then this at least says to me per birdhouse, per birdhouse. So I'm going to add those as well. So I'm going to first divide this by 6 and then I'm going to um, do that which follows. So I'm going to totally disregard this. So it's going to be the 287,40, which is for six bird houses. Two hundred and eighty-seven comma forty divided by six. Forty-seven comma ninety. 
So we know already we've got that one expense. And then I said to you, we are going to add on the other two. So that's 47,90. So on top of that, we're going to add the 21 rand, 40. And then we're going to add the 10 rand, 70. Remember the other one is for painting and so forth. I'm just going to add it on this. Okay. 10 rand. That's 80 rand. So the cost of making one birdhouse is 80 rand. So we don't include the 350 because the 350 is the traveling cost um, and the flea market. So it's an expense, but it doesn't explain break even point in this context. So break even is the same thing throughout. Break even is where this person starts making profit. That's what break even is. You don't even need to sweat about it. Don't walk into an exam without knowing what break even um, means. Okay, so break even. Is where. This person. Starts making profit. But break even is also where income meets expenditure. Okay. And that's exactly um, what it is. During one of the weeks, Idumeleng made 15 birdhouses but only sold 12. Show by means of calculations that he did make a profit. <laughs> no, actually it says if he made a profit um, or if he made a loss for that particular um, week. So obviously in order for us to calculate this one, it's important for us to look at, oh, um, what, how much income did this person make from it? You know, let's go and see using the graph we've been giving. So 15 bird houses. So for us to get profit and loss, we have to see where it is on the graph. So for 15 bird houses, for 15 bird houses, So 15 is here. Which is here, which goes to that point over there. So if this is six, seven, eight, nine, this is five, five, it's one, five, five, zero. Okay. So in order for this person to make 15 bird houses, it means that they spent 1,550. That's what it means for that person to, 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 to make that. But the income of it, income of those bird houses um, is going to be... 15 bird houses, income of 15 bird houses. So this is the, um, it's going to touch all the way up here. That's the income of 15 bird, that's the 15 bird houses. But remember that this person didn't sell 15 bird houses. This person sold 12 bird houses. So let's go to 12 bird houses. So they spent 1,550 making 15 birdhouses and then they sold 12 birdhouses. So 12 birdhouses is over here. That's 12 birdhouses. So let's go see the income of 12 birdhouses. You see? There we go. Here it is. That's the income of 12 bird houses. And that income we said 678, so this is 1,800, okay? 
So the income of 12 third houses is 1,800. So 1,800 for 12 third houses minus how much they spent um, for 15 third houses, which is 1,550. So let's go see. Yeah, they made a profit. I mean, it's not the greatest, but they still made a profit. 250 Rand profit. Okay, if a profit was made, therefore a profit was made. It wasn't a lot, but it was made. Okay, so we've got that question. And that is the last question for question four. And we had income and expenditure, but it was related um, to measurement.